Good afternoon. It's been about five years since I've done a video lesson on YouTube and all the comments that I've heard and the suggestion of songs to do, like Pons Lakes of Pontchartrain, always came up. <clears throat> so I decided this week that I was going to venture back into the YouTube world and uh, provide a YouTube video lesson. So this is Paul Brady's arrangement of the Lakes of Pontchartrain. Now, there's a lot of versions of this song. It's an uh, American song. Um, man, probably from the 19th century, I imagine. Um, it's a beautiful song, and I think Paul Brady's guitar is just epic. He's so, he's so good, and um, hopefully I can do it some justice. The tuning of this song is open tuning is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. So it's an open D chord. It's not dad gad, it's dad fishad. It's like a fish, the fish tuning. Um, capo three makes it an F chord. Um, and this song is in the key of F, but I'm gonna talk about it as if it's in the key of D because um, it just makes more sense to me to talk about it terms. So this intro, the one chord in this case, the D, the, uh, yeah, the one chord, the D chord, even though we're playing an F, this is, a, it sounds like an F chord, but this is a D chord shape for this tuning. Um, <clears throat> it's fifth fret from the capo, fifth string, third fret from the capo, uh, third string. It sounds like this. And if you pluck the fifth string and strum down towards the earth, that gives you the first two notes of this song. Then we go to the four chord. Beautiful four chord. It sounds like it's an add nine chord. I don't know the notes in it, but it's a G chord. It's fifth fret, sixth string, fifth fret, third string. Then the next chord is an inverted one chord, an inverted D chord. And that's 4th fret, 6th string, 3rd fret, 3rd string. So that whole little sequence. 1. Then he goes back to the 4 chord. So in time, 1, 2, 3. And now this next sequence, I kind of divide it into two parts. There's this first little bit. Is a hammer on and pull off of the third string on the first fret, and then fifth string, fourth string, second fret, down stroke with your pick, second finger on your second string, third finger on your first string. Do that slow. So up to there is one chord. Here kind of is the second part of this little bit, which has a lot of notes in it. It's a lot. Break it down. So after this kind of, I call it an A9 chord or an A add 9 chord. It's kind of, it's more like a. A chord. It has that really beautiful open tone, open vibe. So after that, five, fifth string, fourth string, second fret, second string, second finger right hand, then third finger right hand. <clears throat> you slide on that fourth string from the second to the fourth fret. So fourth fret, then second finger right hand on third string, open, fifth string open, then first string with my third finger of the right hand. So this is like the classic kind of cross hybrid cross picking slash finger picking vibe of this traditional Irish, stu Irish stuff. Like I'm doing a lot of cross 
cross picking, meaning that I'm going down, up, 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 down. Whereas I'm also using these two fingers to pick um, different notes. And I'm taking this from Paul Brady's record, Welcome Home, Kind Stranger, along with some YouTube, other YouTube videos. But I think that version is amazing. Um, and so I listened to that uh, a lot and took this intro from it. So right now, we're here. Then slide two to four. Uh, third string, open, second finger, fifth string, open, first string, third finger, right hand, open. Then slide down, four back to two, open, then slide, fifth string, two to five. I'll play that at speed. Here, once we reach that fifth fret of the fifth string, unplugging those two strings with my second and third finger of my right hand, those that are not occupied by the pick. And here is where I, I don't know exactly what he does on the recording, but to me, it sounds like he's going from fifth string, pulling off to the second string and sliding quickly to the fourth string, then plucking the fourth string. So let me say that again. Fifth fret, fifth string, pull off, to the second fret, slide to the fourth fret, then my second finger, my right hand is gonna be taking that fourth string. And then I slide up to the four chord. So let me take it up to that point. Um, just when the finger, when the picking starts. So that. It's really fast in time. But it has this nice, really nice kind of flitty quality to it, a very, it's very uh, emotional. So after he does that, um, we go to the five chord. And this is something that's constant throughout the song. When he hits that five chord, or sorry, the four chord on the fifth fret, it's fifth fret pick, fifth fret third string with the second finger of my right hand, pick on the fourth string open, third finger on the first string, Then pick on the third string, then second finger, first string. Open. Let's do that slow. Six, three, four, one, three, two. Six, three, four, one, three, two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's very harp like. It has this piano quality to it as well, which I think is beautiful. Back to the one chord. This is another version of that one chord. <clears throat> third fret, third string. Or you can just do it all open. But so before he gets into the verse, he's on one bright March morning, etc. Before he gets there, he does this part three times. One. On one bright March morning, I bathe in Orleans, I do, etc. Okay, intro still though, from the top. Time. I'll 
take it at a slower tempo. One, two, three. chords and by the way all of this stuff is in a tablature that I wrote um, that is available uh, if you look in the description you can find all that stuff down there probably um, as well as uh, oh yeah subscribe subscribe I think people like to say that in these YouTube video lessons <laughs> Um, please subscribe. Um, I'll be trying my best to release uh, more videos shortly. So if you like this or if you have suggestions for songs that you want me to take on and sit at my kitchen table and learn, um, I'll do that and I'll post these videos and, and teach everybody. If you have videos of your own, send them to me. I'd love to see uh, these lessons being, being utilized. Um, so anyways, there's a tab uh, in the description below. Hit like subscribe, all that fun stuff. For the chords of this song, <clears throat> I'd say they're, they're fairly complex in time, but it, in, in reality, it's very diatonic, meaning that it stays within the, within the uh, in this case, F to our ears, it's F, but we're playing in that open D style of tuning. So, these first chords are that D chord to the four chord to the D first inversion. It was on one bright March morning. So what he does there, this is the D chord that we started with. We're basically emulating the introduction. Except there. So with this verse, we're going that one chord the four chord, the D first inversion, then to an A7 chord. And here you can cross pick. On the tab I wrote that it was kind of pick freely, and I, I would encourage you to kind of pick freely. So after that A7 chord, it was on bright march a7 to d you can play a d like this or you can just play it open or you can come back to this d i kind of like just hitting my bass strings there it was on one bright march morning and if i happen to hit that string if i'm getting excited and i play i strum more than a few strings then then i'll i'll hit that beautiful note um, but otherwise, I'm just kind of focusing on my bass strings. It was on one bright March morning, I bade Orleans adieu. So right there, after that A7 chord, after that D chord, we go to a B minor chord. And here, I'm going to encourage you to use these two fingers in the pick to really land home that B minor tonality. In this case, you hear D minor. But in relationship to this tuning, this is a B minor chord. And what I want you to do is pluck the fifth string and the first and second strings at the same time. So, it was on one bright March morning, I bade Norlin to do. After that B minor chord, we go to an A7 chord. Bade Norlin's A7 to D. 
do this little riff that goes up to the four chord. That one chord to the two chord to the two, or the first, the one chord first inversion to the four chord. And that whole phrase goes like this. It was on one bright March morning I bade Norlene's adieu. And I took one chord, then we're just kind of doing a walking down bass. One chord, fifth fret, fifth string. Keep it, keep every, keep your first finger there. Then move to the fourth fret, fifth string. Then move to a B minor chord again. Second fret, fifth string. Second fret, second string. Then remove your second finger there. And we're doing, um, we're continuing that walk down. The fifth fret open, and then fourth four chord to the first chord, second inver first inversion. Again, and I took the road to Jackson Town, my future to renew. And then we repeat that. Um, my curse stole far in money, no credit could I gain, and it left me hard. Uh, last, the last part of it. And it left my heart with longing for the lakes upon Chitrain. That's the whole little bit. Let me do uh, just this kind of that middle part. Walk down, walk down, walk down. Walk down, walk down. The timing there is really important. So that walk down. Same thing as the beginning of the verse. The left my heart with longing for B minor, the legs, A7, Pond, Chitrain. And all this is written out on the tab. I'll play uh, just the first verse uh, finally and um, roll the credits. Thank you for checking out. Again, subscribe, that helps people like me. Um, and if you want more songs, uh, write them down in the comments. I'll read the comments. Um, and I'm happy to, to uh, learn a new song for y'all. Anyhow, here's Lake Sponge Train. Tab is available in the description. Here's the first little 20, 30 seconds of the song. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you for watching.